Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will see how to create a store procedure for real life problem in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will see how can we create a store procedure for a real life problem. So without wasting further time let's jump to the demo. So in my last two videos I discussed about creating the store procedure but we only saw like how we can select the data from the store procedure. But if you just need to select the data from a SQL Server table then you can use the SQL functions in those particular scenarios. The stored procedures are mainly used like for example if you need to insert the data, update data, delete data, create some tables. So you can write any kind of code inside the store procedure. So in today's video we will see one of the real life problem that we have the products table okay and in the products table it contains like product ID, product name, price, manufacturer and the date created. So right now the table is empty okay. So what we want to do that we want to create a store procedure so that whenever the store procedure will be called it will insert a record one product information it will insert to the products table like it will insert the product name, product price, product manufacturer and the date created into the products table okay and then it will also check that if the product already exists in the products table okay and if the product price is same then it won't insert any data but it will return the existing product from the table and in case if the product does not exist then it will insert a new record into the products table and in case if the product name exists and the product manufacturer exists okay for a particular product but the product price is different because the price of a product can change from time to time so if product name exists product manufacturer exists but the product price is different so in that particular scenario where the product price has changed then we will update the product price in the existing data and then we'll return that particular record okay so we will see like how we will do that so we might be able to create uh, more than one video on this particular topic so we will continue like creating the store procedure from the very scratch like we will create the very basic store procedure then we'll parameterize the store procedure we will also see that how we can create the optional input parameters in the store procedure and then we will see like how we can insert the last inserted record into the table okay so we will see all these in this video and then maybe in the next video we can see like how how to check if a product already exists and how to update the price of the existing product okay and how to return the newest inserted data so we will see like all those things so right now the products table this table empty okay so we need to create a store procedure for inserting a record into the products table okay so how we can create the store procedure uh, we can write like create procedure procedure name dbo.sp underscore insert product i can call the store procedure like this then as begin and end okay so this is the basic syntax of creating the store procedure so right now this products table this exists inside the school database okay so this is the products table and if you expand the columns so these are the columns here like product id so here the product id is identity value so we do not need to provide any input value to this particular column and the value to the product id it will be generated automatically okay so now so to insert the data into the products table what we will do first we will declare some variables to hold the data okay so like uh, we need the uh, product name so before the product name like this is the name of the column so we will put at the rates at the rate means that this is a parameter here okay and we also need to provide the data type of that particular parameter so for the product name the data type is variable 25 okay and then the second uh, parameter will be the price and the data type will be money so we can copy paste this one we can place the at the rate before the price name so that it can become a parameter okay and so this will become a second parameter now the third parameter is the manufacturer so we can copy and paste this one and we can put a at the rate sign before the manufacturer name and then the last parameter will be the date created okay so I can add this one as well and I can put the at the rate before the date created so now we can assign some values to these particular variables so we can write select at the rate product name so maybe I can call the product as laptop 
okay and then the second variable is the price so the price maybe i can provide the value is 100 and then the next column is the manufacturer so i can assign the next value as uh, maybe dell okay and the last one is the date created so maybe i can assign the value to the date created as uh, 2024 okay so this is the value that we assigned here now we can write the insert query so i can write the insert query like insert into and then the table name so our table name is the products here okay and now we need to provide the list of the columns here so either you can manually write the column names or you can simply drag and drop the columns into this particular parenthesis okay so it will insert all the column names here however we do not need to provide the value for the product id because product id is identity so we can remove this one and then we can write values now in the parenthesis we can just provide the these particular variables so the first variable is the product name the second variable is the like price okay and now the third one is the manufacturer okay and the last variable is the date created okay so this is how the very basic store procedure can be created that we created a store procedure we declared some variables we assigned some data to the variables and then we are inserting the data into the products table so if i execute this one so this will create a store procedure so if i go to the programmability okay and if i expand the store procedures so you can see the store procedure here sp underscore insert product okay so how we can call this particular store procedure so we can simply copy the name of the store procedure and let me open a new query window and i can paste the store procedure name here then in the beginning we can write exec okay and then the store procedure name so if i execute this particular query so you can see that one row affected so it should have inserted one record into the store procedure so i can maybe copy the select query from here okay and i can paste it here so now if i execute the select query so you can see that one record got inserted here okay so this was the very basic store procedure now suppose if i need to insert one more record so if i re-execute this one then it will insert one more record into the same products table so here you can see that the product id got increased but the value is the is still same like laptop 100 dell okay so now suppose if you want to make these values dynamic like you want to pass these values while calling the store procedure like the product name price and the manufacturer or the date created so you need to make your store procedure parameterized okay so right now there are no parameters here in the store procedure so how we can add the parameters to the store procedure okay so for doing that particular thing uh, what you can do you can actually add the parenthesis here okay and then in the parenthesis you can simply cut this particular variables and paste them here okay so now we added the variables into the input parameters okay now we need to just remove the declare from here if you are adding the variables in the input parameter then you don't need to put the declare here okay so this should work so now because we already have a store procedure with the same name so what we can do we can write like draw procedure okay uh, if exist and then the procedure name so our procedure name is this one okay and then we can put the go statement here so this will drop the store procedure if the store procedure will be there so it will drop it okay and if it won't exist then it won't drop it okay so this is how you can drop the store procedure and then you can recreate it okay and now we don't need to provide the values inside the store procedure we can pass these values while calling the store procedure so i can paste these values here okay and i can remove them from the store procedure so now this will be our store procedure that we have declared some variables as the input parameters so if we have not written the output here suppose if we have written the output so it means that this is the output parameter but if we have not written anything so it means that these are the input parameters so these are the input parameters and there is only a single insert statement in the store procedure so i can actually re-execute this particular query so the store procedure can be modified okay and now how i can call the store procedure so suppose if i re-execute the execute store procedure query then it will fail it will say that it expect the parameter name product name which was not supplied so now it needs the values for these particular parameters like the product name price manufacturer and the date created so we need to uh, pass these values okay so how i can pass these values 
I can simply you know copy and paste these values and I can just remove these values from here just pass the actual values on okay without any parameters so I can just remove this one and then the last one is the date created okay so this is how I can pass the values now suppose uh, we already have the data in the table for the same record so if I want to pass some different values like the manufacturer as HP and the price as maybe 150 okay so if I re-execute the store procedure so one record affected here okay so it means that one record got inserted into the table so if I select the data from the table so now you can see that a new record got inserted here for the HP manufacturer and the price is 150 okay so this is how you know you can actually parameterize your store procedure so this was the second thing now suppose uh, you want to create some optional parameters so here I provided the four parameters like the project name price manufacturer date created suppose you want to uh, create one of the parameters as the optional parameter like if you do not want to pass a value for a parameter suppose for the date created right now so it will fail it will say that the parameter date created was not supplied okay but if you want to make the date created as the optional parameter like whether you provide or not provide the value for a particular parameter but still the store procedure should work so how we can do that okay so for doing that particular thing we simply need to write equal to null here okay so if you write like equal to null then this means that this particular uh, parameter is the optional parameter so I can just recreate the store procedure with this particular change okay and now if I will execute the same store procedure so if I call this particular store procedure so the store procedure ran successfully and now if you select the data from the table so now you can see that uh, one new record got inserted into the table and the date created is the null here okay so this is how you know you can make a particular parameter as the optional parameter okay so suppose if you want to return the last inserted record from the table then how you can do that so for doing that particular thing to fetch the record like that was the last inserted we can declare a variable declared at the rate uh, maybe I can call it as product ID integer okay and as soon as we insert a record into the products table we can assign the value set at the rate product ID I think I misspelled it uh, product ID okay uh, set product ID equal to and we can write a scope identity a scope identity it, it returns actually the last identity value inserted to this particular table products table okay so this will return the last inserted product id okay and then we can just select the data like select all these columns okay like the product id product name uh, from the products table okay where product id is the first column equal to products id which actually we got from the scope identity you know system function and this returns the last inserted value last inserted identity value to this particular table okay now whenever we will call this particular store procedure this store procedure will insert a record into the products table and as well as it will get the value from the products table for the last inserted record okay so if I actually uh, re-execute this particular store procedure then the store procedure will be deleted and recreated okay and now suppose if I pass another value like I pass the value maybe as mouse okay and the price may be just 15 okay and company maybe I can change to Apple so if I call this particular store procedure now this is the last inserted record you know product ID 5 and even you can check this value here that the last inserted value was the 5 product okay and suppose if I uh, insert another record HP and maybe I can <laughs> you reduce the price okay and I can pass maybe the uh, current date time as well uh, 2024 0204 okay so now if I execute this particular query so let me execute this one so this is the most uh, recent record that was inserted mouse HP price date created okay so using this particular line we just call the store procedure and this the first re the record that is returned this result set this is re returned from the 
store procedure okay and then the second result set that you are seeing here this is from the products table so this is the most recent record that was inserted to the products table okay so this was about few things like uh, how to create the very basic store procedure for a particular case okay so we saw like how we can call the very basic store procedure like passing the values directly from the store procedure then we made the these variables as as input parameters we also make one of the parameter as the optional parameter and then we got the last inserted record last inserted identity value from the products table assigned to a local variable and then according to that particular value we selected the data from the products table okay so this was about the few things about the store procedure for a real life scenario like how we can make the store procedure for a real life problem and this is the part one for that particular video in the next video we will see some more advanced topics on this particular store procedure like how we can add some further details like suppose if the record already exists then how we can get the already existing record and if the price of a product got changed then how we can update the existing price and then return the latest record with the updated price so all those things we will see in the next videos and we will also see like how we can debug the store procedures as well yeah, so i think that's it for today's video